Hey guys, Akshay Bhaskar this side from Geeks for Geeks and today there's a special webinar enhance your system design skills. So uh, before moving on let me say some hi hellos. So guys kaise ho sab 16 18 people are live. Come on some comments. I'll address them, we'll talk and then I'll move ahead and introduce our guest for today. I'm still waiting for the comments. 23 people live. Come on, guys. Chalo, theek hai. Theek hai, wait karta hoon. Aur kya? Aa gaya. Hi. Hi, coding and gaming. Hi. Thank you. At least it started. Anyways, let me tell you more about, uh, let me tell you about the guest. I'll tell you a brief intro about him. So, he has nine years of work experience and he's currently working as a software engineer at Microsoft and he worked for three years at Amazon as well. So, he's really experienced and he has a lot of insights for you guys, especially when it comes to system designs. So, yeah, Tanush, you don't know about system design? No, if you don't know about system design, you should stay tuned till the end because this is all about it. Hmm. Hi, Ajay. Hi, Ankit. Hi, Anurag. All right. All right, guys. Let's call Ashish. His name is Ashish. And uh, we'll talk to him. All right. Hey, Ashish, what's up? Hey, Akshay. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm great good. to see you. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Like, hope you are all, all are doing good. And it, this is like a COVID time, right? So we all yeah. are staying home, stay safe. Yeah, that's what I can say. Yeah, yep. like I'm hoping to have like a, too much of fun over here. That's great, Ashish. Ashish, let's start with our, what questions we have from you, what geese for geese have to ask from you. So let's start huh? with the first question with the introduction, right? Please feel free to introduce yourself to the audience. So intro, like I think you almost introduced myself. I'm not like a Superman. Uh, so yeah, nine years of work experience, like, you know, I am a software engineer and that is mm -hmm. the most boring introduction. I must say like, you know, you say software engineer, you are also an, again, an engineer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, working with Microsoft, uh, like it's been a really amazing journey at Microsoft. And again, and I work with uh, Amazon. So I got a chance to work on like a lot of highly scalable systems. So mm -hmm. that's a brief about me. And uh, yeah, so I think in the, I, I love coding and system design is again, you know, uh, one of my passion. Uh, I, I find like, because system design, it depends like if you, uh, person to person, I find like system design easier as compared to like a data structures and algorithms. And it also like, you will also find like, uh, we'll see like how exactly you can uh, deal with a system design. Okay, okay. so. Ashish, tell us more about system design, like exactly what it is and why is it so important in today's time? Like where does it fit in? Uh, so system design, like, you know, uh, in industry we work, right? And and you certainly be working on maybe like if you're a beginner, you may be working on a small feature. For example, let's say you are working on a Google search engine. It's not like you're going to build that entire search engine on your own, right? Uh, if you even if you are working on like a small piece, you should have an idea like how exactly that entire system works. So that okay. is what like you know it's how much curious you are to learn the new technologies and the tech behind it, and how exactly if you are given a chance to implement this entirely, how exactly you are going to do it. Like in a very uh, lame language, I'm asking like as a total beginner because I've seen some comments that people don't know at all, right? So, uh, and this is one of the first webinars on system design. I would like to ask, like, what exactly is it? Do you design the infrastructure? If you design it, by design, you mean you also get it implemented by, like, maybe databases are there or SQL is there or some coding part is there. Like, how how is it? Like, I I'm really want to know more. So system design has actually two parts. One we call as a, like a low level design and one we call as a high level design. So to okay. uh, make you understand in layman English is, uh, if you see a building from top view, how exactly the structure will look uh, completely different, right? But mm -hmm. when you enter inside the complex, it will look completely different. Mm -hmm. So a high level design is like you know, looking at like a, from a 10,000 uh, 10, feet above or like a, a 100,000 uh, feet above. And mm -hmm. like low level design getting into each of the components and maybe like a, each component you may have to implement kind of a coding as well. So mm -hmm. system design is, Again, like a kind of system design, whether a high level or low level. Uh, so that way you'll have to deal with it. Okay, got it. All right. So definitely it's important. If you're saying what it is, like there's no uh, like doubt that it's important. All right. So, yes. uh, mm, so what are the expectations of an interview from a candidate while answering a system design problem? What uh, Yeah, so like 
uh, in general, that what I have seen, like even though like I also interview people, uh, I have seen like you know people that do not have a clarity like what is the expectation, and that is where actually they, they mess up the things. The clarity uh, you must understand like uh, what is the expectation. Without that, you cannot like figure out like how actually to deal with it. So expectation is uh, you have to showcase your technical abilities, you have to showcase your communication abilities. And also, like how much curious uh, in the industry you are. So, in the industry, meaning like a technical industry. So, if you are very much curious, certainly you will like to learn like a lot of new tech, uh, technologies, either from the TikToks in the industry, in your company, or maybe like online sessions, or like a Geeks for Geeks sessions. How much curious you are. So, they want to know your technical depth as well as the communication. So, as long as you are more involved in like you know tech, uh, technical things, you will certainly uh, can figure out like what is. The system design an interviewer mm -hmm. actually exactly want to know like how much technical depth you have in breadth breadth meaning it's not like one component you should know about lot in fact almost every component that is what the expectation but it is not possible certainly but you should keep on uh, understanding keep on le learning so that is how exactly a system design works like go All on right. learning as much as possible okay so, yeah. Okay. So in one line, if I would say like expectation is your technical depth and the communication. OK. OK. Technical depth and communication. All right. So uh, like should a college student focus on system design questions or not? Like So for college student, like uh, uh, I have seen like, you know, in uh, one of a lot of candidates came to me like they are even like the third year and they have been asked of system design. And okay. especially like the startups, the, you know, the current trend is like, you know, fast paced, right? So startups actually, they do uh, ask some kind of system design as well. So, and, and if you talk about like a top tier companies, top level or whatever the tier you can say, uh, they generally do not ask for the, uh, to the college students, but it is good to know about a system because in college also you're doing projects and there also you must be designing, right? So how you came up with that design? So that is actually a system design, right? So okay. if you are aware of this system, certainly you can do better in your interviews. Yes, okay. as so, a whole, like it's important. So students can focus. If they have time, they should give it a... Yes, a, I would a, recommend like you focus because Amazon and all these top companies are hiring when one year experience as well, like as an SDA too. So for that, certainly you have to go through the system design. All right, all right, Ashish. So uh, how and or why do interviewers expect a student to design a whole system? like Twitter, for example, in such a short span of time? Uh, yes, that is like the tricky thing. So that is why you have to understand the expectation here. Like expectation is not like how Twitter has designed it. The expectation is how actually you are going to design it. And how you will be designing is what are the knowledge that you have from your experience? What are the fundamentals that you know? You will be using that knowledge to figure out like if this is the case, then how exactly I'll be dealing with it. So it also showcases not, not just the technical depth, also like it will showcase that how confident you are whenever you are getting a new question. How uh, you are whether able to act as a leader or not, because when you are going uh, for system design are mostly for the senior level, right? So if you are going as a senior, you must be like, you know, guiding the juniors, right? So how mm. confident you are, how, whether you are acting as a leader or not. So, so those things also they want to check. So that okay. is why, uh, like, you know, you actually can focus like a system design as a like a whole package of everything so in such a short span of time is the my suggestion is you use your knowledge and then from a completely vague statement they will say one liner okay hey design twitter from that clear your uh, requirements like what is the exact requirements without phrasing on the requirements do not move it do not move it i repeat like do not move it otherwise it's a uh, trouble so from there, you can just you know slowly move ahead, start small, and then you uh, can see at the end like you have reached to uh, some viable solution. It's not like you have to uh, design a perfect system, but it's like a kind of a viable uh, system is like what is required. All right. OK, OK. So uh, you do not find many resources freely available on the internet regarding this particular area of system design, OK? So do mm -hmm. you think that is why students don't think that it is important enough, this topic? this category uh i would say resources are a lot on the internet but for system design topic is such a topic that people do not understand like from where to start and what are the resources they are looking for that is where the trouble is to search for the resources we should know like what to search right so, so for the system design it's like completely a vague thing 
because in the past like what are the trend that we have seen system design what was not that popular so this has gained popularity over recent time i would say like a four or five years like you know that is when like we are understanding like what system design is so resources okay. are a lot uh, so but to get a direction certainly you need some kind of mentor if you have any mentor like who is working in a senior position in your company if you have a, a senior from your college or anyone like you find like uh, so get a mentor and figure out like what are the resources that you need try from there uh, and if you uh, try on your own if you don't have much knowledge you'll be lost there are like you know vast resources so that's okay. what is my suggestion all right all right and what are some of the common mistakes that students make in this uh the common mistake i must say is you know uh, the thing like i'll uh, like prepare for some of the systems and then the same system design is going to be there in the, my interview so that is like one biggest mistake i see like you prepare yourself to face any new question it's not like that you prepared for twitter and the same thing is going to come for your uh, interview so that is the one mistake second mistake is when you are in the interview you saw a new problem and then all of a uh, sudden you panicked and you are you started showing a sign of like you know low confidence and the third mistake that i see is like uh, with that low confidence what you you mess up the things you do not have any kind of flow design whether like to requirement to design or from design to requirement you you know keep on jumping so that is the trouble you stick to a particular flow the way you have practiced and you use your fundamentals nothing to be worried you are bound to get some new questions so be ready for it and stay confident you will see like you are actually doing great all right ashish thank you thank you so much man for answering that question and okay let's move on to the next question uh, what should one do in order to develop a mindset to learn how to tackle these questions uh so this is uh, obviously everyone know is like a practice right so practice is very important but with practice uh, it's not like you know kind of algorithms that you go to geeks for geeks and practice a lot of question and you're done it's like a continuous learning every day you oh, can make a habit of like you know uh, learning some kind of a new tech so that is where like you know uh, this begins if you are like you know learning new technology you are very curious for it and then slowly you'll I'll see like what are the systems that you have learned as a fundamental they are coming as a use to design a system so to develop the mindset keep your mind focused and see hey i can design a new system at any point of time whatever the system i am getting a new system i can use these fundamentals whatever either load balancer or the cache or whatever the databases i know i can like put up these connect the pieces together and i can build a new system so that is where the you know uh, confidence comes and also i would say like what whatever the companies you are working on uh, or working in uh so you doesn't matter even if you are working in a small feature or uh, try to understand the end to end flow of that entire system so you will surely like you know get a lot of understanding how the system works okay mm, some like absolutely definite and important questions that one must definitely practice uh some important question i would say like uh, there are some exhaustive list, list of 22 uh, questions w- uh, which is like a very long but still i would uh, say like in short you must practice for the facebook design whatsapp design like uh, uber design or twitter design or even like tiny url which is very famous along with the tiny url you can practice for paste bean as well and then netflix which is like a, you know uh, in very much trend uh some of the co- uh, more commonly asked questions i would say is like a facebook messenger as well like or google type it or design a, a search engine or even current days is like in a design a voice assistant like a kind of a alexa or a, a, a google assistant so these are a kind of a trending uh, these are as a part of like a high level design is what i am saying for the low level you have some common question design elevator design online library or like a banking system or design chess these are like you know very very common i would say like you know make a list of which are commonly asked question practice those you will get lot of idea uh, and use those ideas uh, keep your mind open you see you will see like you know you are able to uh, design a new system okay okay uh, can you share the list like is mm-hmm. it possible that you can share the link the any list of resources you have that i can share with the audience uh yes i have like a list i have uh, i write some blogs uh, so i have it like you know yeah uh, please do that because you know you can send me the link on private chat there's an option mm-hmm. of private chat in the stream where you can see 
and then i'll <clears throat> comment and so that uh, everyone that's a, does that work? yeah yeah certainly like uh, that does work like uh, yeah must do is what i think you can uh, check this oh, I, i'll send you over here send me in the private chat i'll do that yep i am send you uh, okay yeah, yeah you can check this link uh, so i have created some list these are like you know must do uh, and right, check this out guys uh, i am commenting everyone guys and girls i am commenting isko dekh lena link ko uh exhaust list for system design questions theek hai guys i have commented I... you can refer it okay yeah please ashish continue please yeah uh, but again like you know these are the list which are must do it's not like only do so okay so this is a so, must do no, no only do everyone yeah so <laughs> you <laughs> still be open and what are the new problems you can practice like go for it hmm okay all right so ashish next question uh, any advice for individuals who are looking to upgrade in their careers uh it's for individuals i would say like uh who are like up, uh want to upgrade in your so some of the things are which we know from like a long time is we must practice ds and algo like they are the core i must say like without that you cannot you know go up the ladders if you're looking for a switch second thing if you want to grow in your own organization so mm-hmm. i would say like you know build uh, 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 like uh, that kind of a uh, 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 repo in front of the people that you are a leader and you can handle like you know the projects uh, single handedly so that mm-hmm. to build that line discussion what are the things which are going on in your team and in, uh, outside your team participate in those put your suggestions what are the meetings are happening put up your point it is not like you know stay silent and just listen and other ways like if you want to uh, switch to companies and that way you are seeing to grow like in a ds algo and the system design are the must so ds algo okay. it's uh, not like you know you are doing 20 question today and then you again like a next month or after 15 days build some kind of consistency that is very important even though one question is sufficient but you do it every day so that is the practice that is the habit you have to build so once you have that habit you will see like you know these things are flowing on uh, automatically and keep taking interviews whenever you see like you are a little bit ready and be sure uh, be ready that you will see lot of failures it is very common because sometimes you know some interviews may not like your face uh so it, <laughs> <laughs> might be angry just like that you know just like, like that yeah exactly it can happen you know you have like a five round six rounds you do not know like uh, you know some of the rounds uh, even though you are very you have lot of knowledge sometimes it happens so nothing yeah. to be worried you know be ready for the failure so nothing to be worried yeah. like you know keep trying and keep again like you know next time just exactly. keep learning keep growing yeah from within right be strong right <laughs> yep yeah that's a great advice man all right so next section is that uh, just these are these are the questions which uh, i had to mm-hmm. ask you but in next section we can pick two questions and talk about them from the audience we can pick two questions but before that uh, i would like to mention about stall of the day so mm-hmm. uh, as you know ashish there are uh, so you must be aware about dss self based of geeks so geeks yeah. these classes live also because you also teach at geeks so geeks sometimes right so, so today we are having discounts on these two courses do you want to add something like as to any experience you got with these courses you want to add over there uh, so sell pace for the geeks for geeks is really a good material and you can see like you know the price is also low uh, uh, so that way like you yeah, and and the way it is designed is like you know you can uh, have a, some kind of flow it is not like you know you are going randomly like here to there so that is the best part of it and uh, at any point of time like you can see like what is your progress so you can like you know track your progress mm. and 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 the content is like you know well designed and for the like you know best uh, uh, tutors best mentors so you will certainly like, you know find it very very useful and yeah again to repeat is like the you know, price is very low so it is very affordable uh, so yeah go okay. for it that's what i would say uh, that's right. really really helpful Thank you, Ashish. Thank you. So, guys, check it out. Install all the day. Also, class sale at 3:30 p.m. Uh, do check it out. Window 15 minutes. Because it's a competitive programming live. There's a discount on that. So, guys, check it out. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Ashish, for that. And let's uh, move on to the comment section and pick up two questions. 
okay let's start from the first one uh, guys put in your comments put in your questions we uh, will randomly choose to ashish you can also see questions like previously also yeah there. i can see yeah. like people have asked like a lot of questions uh huh so, so there's a hmm. tell so me there are some like yeah anything like you can pick like uh, i think all are like a good questions i can see okay somebody is asking designing a parking lot then i guess yeah. asking all prison system you want to talk about online yeah, prison yeah uh, Uh, let's you know so this one like in a parking lot and all so we are not going to talk over here like uh, how to design but uh, i would say like you know the expectation uh, what you can expect for designing a parking lot so design a parking lot it works two ways uh, some interviewers expects you uh, you design the class and then see how the uh, show the how the interactions are happening in some interviews what they expect is you show not, not just show the interactions of the classes but also what is happening inside the class happening inside the class means like what are the members will be there and also like some of the functions which are supposed to be there inside those classes and it may happen that you'll have to implement a runnable code for a particular function meaning like okay they will say hey i want to park a ca uh, car can you like a uh, run a code like i am parking the car and then i am coming out of the parking how exactly the flow is going so you have to write some runnable code so be sure like in you know, a practice in that way that you are able to write the raw classes not just drawing a diagram because this is a low level design and you are able to at least like you know implement any like a uh, functionality whatever is asked for the interview so that how, uh, that's how actually it it doesn't uh, not like for the park, parking lot but for all the system design like a low level system design so it's like a kind of a coding question plus the design all right ashish let's pick up one more mm -hmm. you only choose you tell me that's the better approach like you know better than me okay uh, so how to handle situation if interviewer is changing requirements in between the interview so this is yeah this is actually uh, uh, i think a really good question uh, and uh, do you really think like you know the requirements it's very rare that it's going to happen uh, first talk like you know how to deal with in the beginning itself to deal in the beginning itself is you know uh, you first work with the requirements and you freeze on the requirement but freeze how exactly you'll freeze is you are proposing uh, i am designing twitter these are the requirements i am thinking uh, making a post uh, comment or follow unfollow like and all right now you ask the interviewer hey uh, are you looking for any specific requirement you ask is this and then mm -hmm. if the interviewer says hey please include this as well and like you ask this as well like you uh, should i remove any of the requirement which maybe like you uh, it looks like that uh, i should not be discussing over here then that also like clarify there now the second thing is like what is there you you frozen on the requirement but still at some point of time so this is like you know once you frozen most of the companies work like that is like you have to work on those only now to coming to this question is uh, in the middle is some requirement changes uh, some interviewers are you know very curious and they want to talk about a particular component and they are changing the requirement it can happen so that point of time uh, you see the requirement that you already have figured out and you see whether you are done with those requirements or not and and that point of time if you are adding a new requirement be sure to, to work with the interviewer hey are these requirements still valid or like uh, we are uh, going to park it for later time or this is like more important because you have limited time 45 minutes to 50 minutes only so before taking any requirement i would suggest you know look in the requirement what are the requirement you have worked through and if you see like you don't have much time you can talk to the interviewer hey uh, uh, should we finish these requirements first or like should we go ahead with this be sure like you know nothing to be worried you uh, be open to ask any kind of a question so that's how actually is a leader work right you should not be scared of like you know asking any kind of a question yeah man uh -uh. that is so true ashish one more question mm -hmm. let's pick up two more okay like we have time we yep. have we have around yep. four minutes uh, exactly we can mm -hmm. pick up two more questions please tell me the third one uh mm -hmm. yeah any questions should i how uh, important is lld in fresher interview okay okay yes lld uh, yeah i must say like hld still like you know kind of maybe an optional but lld i would say is plays a good part because whenever you are growing in your career or like in the beginning phase of your career 
your system design starts from the low level design only you will see like you know, this kind of questions are very common design a scheduler or design a parking lot or design a chess game these are very very common so that is why for a fresher i would say for, uh, to like clarify fresher meaning like you know uh, like a recent grads maybe like some people uh, do not understand what is a fresher so yeah uh, for the fresh grads yes uh, this is important i would say like you know practice for some of the well known problems it's not like you know uh, go and overkill the things but yeah uh, be sure to practice this is important okay okay she last question uh yeah some um, yeah this is actually uh, some of the good resources to read uh, is yeah i would okay. say like you know uh, there is uh, nothing like you know straightforward thing that you have some resources reserved somewhere for a system design and you just follow it the resources you have to prepare uh, uh, either first thing is get help from mentor like uh, whoever is experienced you can make anyone as a mentor uh, whoever you find like you know is good uh, having good experience But otherwise you will be lost i am telling you you will be lost because system design is so vast once you uh, uh, find out a mentor like you know work uh, with the, your mentor to figure out like hey how actually should be the flow and how actually an interview system design interview works so once you know like how a system design interview works and then that point of time you will be able to figure out what are the resources to look for check for the whatever the system designs which are there on youtube you can follow any of the channels or maybe like you can uh, go for the uh, geeks for geeks live sessions it's uh, it's up to live classes are there so they are like you learn actually how the flow uh, is for uh, any kind of a system design interview and how to present the system design uh, in a particular interview and you will also get a lot of resources as well so i would recommend a lot of resources are there uh, talk to the mentor and don't just like you know follow randomly work on lot of uh, systems uh, check out online and then you will understand what are the either load balancer cache databases application host or whatever the network calls that you are making so you will automatically see okay these are the parts uh, you don't have much idea you should know so that's how actually you should learn okay and also uh, ashish your linkedin profile link is in the youtube description uh, so yeah. people can connect with you send your request maybe they some people can see you as a mentor maybe yeah yeah sure like you know i truly like you know love to the, uh, mentor people and it's really great yeah. to like you know people reach out to me I, and I, they find me helpful that, that would be great like you can reach out to me at any point of time thank you ashish for that really so uh, actually somebody asked where to find such, such a mentor so kb asked i am just answering her question like you have the mentor in front of you <laughs> 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 all right ashish that was it uh, thank you so much for yeah. joining us and talking about uh, system design because actually we were we talk a lot about dsa at the coding mm -hmm. survey the system design we are talking after a long time so i think it's a fresh mm -hmm. thing for our viewers right yeah most ignored but most important all right yeah so <laughs> definitely people will send in you some requests i know you'll get a lot of them trust me <laughs> yeah but, yeah yep so okay ashish i'll bid you goodbye and talk to the audience for a minute thanks man yeah yeah great thanks for inviting akshay thanks everyone see you then bye bye all right bye ashish thanks man all right so that was it guys uh, for today i hope you liked the session and uh, i already mentioned about all of the day please go check it out the link in the youtube description and flash sale at 330 so that's okay manish you're welcome man thank you so much all right guys akshay bhaskar this side feel free to connect with me if you have any questions if you want to feature on interview experience maybe at uh, geeks for geeks or any any other webinar connect me on akshay.bhaskar@geeksforgeeks.org or there you write a subject to make kisme feature hona and then my team will review it and they'll get back to you if we feel that you're fit for it and uh, definitely bahut sare logo ko bahut sare frequencies bada hai webinar so everybody has a chance and we'll you know it's like a community we're building a community over every geeks for geeks is a community like we're sharing things right so yeah tanuj uh, i know your question is not answered but you can ask the same to ashish on linkedin all right man thanks guys i'll sign off now bye bye